over 100 episodes, 10,000 dick jokes, and Sony coverage the second to most. It's the Sarcastic Gamer PlayStation Podcast, The Blue Show. Hey, we're running late, and Pac-Man hasn't announced his contest yet, so we need to do that. Oh, he's got a contest? Oh, for the t-shirt. Yes, indeed, indeed. If you get another guy eating glue, I'm going to be pissed. Go ahead. <laughs> Man, what can I say? Some people like to like to win. Eating glue is what you need to do to win. That's what you got to do. Anyway, um, my contest is everyone knows that I've made a big stink about the PlayStation Move and the possibility of... Whether or not it's implemented into a game, it, it, it may remain to be seen, but I've always talked about challenging someone using a PlayStation Move controller. So what I want is, it only has to be 20, 30 seconds, it can be really short, make a recording of you challenging me to a uh, controller versus Move face-off in the most ridiculous, like 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 a WWE wrestler style, like, I'm going to bring you down with PlayStation Move, or, or just... The most ridiculous way that you can challenge me to any of the PlayStation Hardcore um, games that use moves. So if you want to challenge me to Killzone 3 or SOCOM, just the most ridiculous voice chat, like sound clip of you challenge me and threaten to kick my ass using a PlayStation Move controller when I'm using a controller. Just the most outrageous one wins. Can be 30 seconds, super short. How funny would it be if someone recorded... uh... No masturbation sounds. (laughs) <laughs> Kermit the Frog challenging him. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pac-Man, it is time for you to give away a shirt. What? So soon. He's got nine more on. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Yeah, That's I, 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 got, I got shirts to spare. But we got <laughs> um, a number of really good entries, but I sent Frawls and Rothbart the winning entry so they could listen to it as well. And... Uh, our winner for the t-shirt this week is Huda19. I believe it's Huda19. Huda. Dave's got Dave's got to play that. Yeah, I mean, we we're going to have to drop some some edits in it, but uh, Huda had No, it's got to go unedited. By bar none, the the most uh, verbose challenge. I mean, uh, he he basically tore me apart. He he uh, he had a little two-part audio clip so he had I think his son or some child introduce him and then I'm gonna laugh if it was his wife he uh he challenged me to to Call of Duty using uh, I think he said Call of Duty using move he laid the smack down and you I mean you guys gotta listen to this mp3 because it starts off as him just tearing me apart but the last like 15-20 seconds of his clip he basically raps me you know like he, he raps the end of his um God, this is sounding really perverse. It sounds pretty freaking cool. (laughs) He wraps the end of his penis around me. Well, I I, I didn't say that. I mean, I think someone has penis on the brain. (laughs) But anyway, Huda19, he's our winner. He's got a prehensile penis. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Huda19, do you feel you can beat Pac-Man Polar Bear using PS Move and Call of Duty? First off, PS Move is the world's most accurate motion gaming experience, and I'm the world's most accurate ass kicker with the PS Move, and I'll prove it by putting a cap in Pac-Man's ass in Call of Duty. You know what? F*** Pac-Man. I'm calling that frozen skinny ass, one platinum trophy earned, dual shock, six access loving, PS Move hating Canadian out right now. That's right, hoser. You heard me, eh? Pac-Man, you're a tool, and I'm going to pick you up, PS Move you, and use you however I want. You think you're fast at getting kills in Call of Duty? When I use PS Move, I kill fools faster than Frawls goes through hand lotion. I'm sorry, Pac-Man, but the truth hurt. Now hand over my Blue Show shirt. And remember, in Call of Duty, I'm the master. You ain't no killer, just a podcaster. Biatch! <laughs>